Hello everyone. This tutorial is to show you how to use a very simple program called Free File Sync. In order to do that, I created two folders. One I called Source Folder, another called Target Folder. And I opened them in the background here. This is the this is the Source Folder, this is the Target Folder. I would like to synchronize these Two folders. I would like to put some files in the source folder and then synchronize, synchronize this folder with the folder on the right. Okay, let's assume that in the folder on the left side I have a file or um, a document. I call it my document. And I edit this document and add things in it. For instance, uh, um, what can I put in it? Something like that and I would like to save it in wherever it is and then close it so now I do have I apologize for this for the background sound of the ambulance passing by the window anyway so in here I have a folder it's called source folder folder inside of it I have a file called my document and I edited the document, put something in it and save the document. I can do the same thing with creating other things like a drawing and edit that one edit this this file put something inside of it just for the sake of this tutorial um, and save it and I also would like to create a PDF file the same name inside the source folder now I have three files in this folder one is called my document the other one is called drawing with a drawing in it which is a editable file the other one is this one drawing a PDF file that can be sent to my friends with the um, shapes that I created inside of it and you can go on and on and on and add stuff inside your folder now we would like to synchronize synchronize the left folder which is source with the right folder which is the target folder and they both can be on the same computer or on different computers on different um, mediums like one can be on your local hard drive the other one can be on your USB drive flash drive or whatever else you might have but the process of synchronize synchronization is the same. The only thing you need to do is to install the program called Free File Sync. I am using a portable version, and then you can open it. When you open the program, most probably you would see something like this, which is an empty um, working graphical user interface doesn't have much inside there are two sides in here one side shows your target the other side shows your destination source and destination so this this side I decided this side to be my source the other side be my target or destination uh, how am I supposed to assign the folders to these two columns to to these these two sides 
here is where you choose the folders, the folder names. On the left side, I'm going to choose this folder, which is called source folder, by clicking on browse. So I can browse to the folder that I created and called source folder. And then I can go to my source. So I selected that folder. I can go to the other side to the right side which is going to be my target folder and select the target folder that I have on my desktop target folder now both sides of this this pat these two panels are ready the left side shows my source source folder the right side is assigned to my target folder what I need to do right now is to compare these two folders and see if there is anything I can synchronize between the two. I click on the compare button and it immediately shows me what differences there are and what files and folders and, and um, contents would be exchanged between the two folders. As you can see there are stuff in my right, in my left folder, the source folder, that do not exist in my target folder. You can see the same here in this program. You can see the three of them. The document I created, the document, the drawing I draw, and the PDF that I created of that drawing. And also you can see these signs, it shows you what is what is going to happen if you synchronize these two two sides it says after bringing your mouse over the icon it shows you a tooltip it says copy new item to write so it means that whatever is on this row would be copied to the other side and the the direction of the arrow shows you which direction the file would go to so the, the the file would be copied from the left side into the right side and then once I compare them and I now know what is going on in the two sides I can click on synchronize and it shows me a quick message it says that both ways are going to be synchronized which means that whatever there is in the right side would be synchronized with the left and whatever there is in the left side would be synchronized with the right so changes would be compared and both sides would be equalized and I say start I, I mean do it and I close it now I can see what is in the target folder you see the three of them this one is a working file created by this little guy by this program called free file sync for the purpose of the management of the folders so if I compare them again it shows no differences between the two folders both sides are the same if I for some reason if I delete these and I compare the two sides it shows me oh there used to be now it says there used to be something on the right side that does not exist on the left side now. So what is going to happen? It's going to delete the left item. So whatever happens, it keeps track of them and it will do whatever is going to to be uh, to, to be done to equalize the two folders. So it's it's it keeps track of all changes chronologically that is called two-way synchronization sometimes however let me delete these management files out of these folders now i compare now it says there are stuff in the left folder that is not in the right folder and it's going to equalize the two but sometimes the only thing i need is to equalize the two in, a, in such a way that always the right folder or the target folder 
follows what is inside the source folder, not the other way around. So it's not two-way. The first scenario was a two-way. Now the second scenario is not a two-way, it's only a one-way. Assume that I have something in the source folder, I change it every day, and I want a copy of it, a backup copy of, of it, the latest, always, on the right side, on the target folder. And I don't want the other way around. I don't want anything to come from the target folder into the source folder. In that case, in that scenario, I have to change the two-way synchronization into something else by clicking on this gear. When I click on the gear, it shows me what is happening between the two. It, at this moment, it is a two-way synchronization. I can say I would like a mirror. So I would like to have a mirror of the source onto the target. So I selected the mirror, I say OK. So what will happen now is that when I compare and it says these two folders are not equal and I synchronize the two, it shows me that what is going to happen and I say star and it synchronizes. Then I would see the target to be equal to the source. However, this time, if I change something in the target, the next time I compare, I get the same message. It says, oh, there is something in the source that does not exist in the target. I'm going to put them back into the target. So I say synchronize. It does the same. The thing is that if I change something in my document, if I just add something else to the document and make it different and save it what will happen is that now when I compare I didn't change it in the, in the target I changed it in the source I compare the two and it shows the change it says that the left folder has something that it do exist in the right folder however it is changed and it is going to copy this overwrite the, the targets folder, folder. Say do it. Just pay attention to the size of the files. Look at this one. It says four kilobytes. Look at this one. It says three kilobytes. Now look. You can see also the fa file size is more more accurately here yeah, and and here. Now if I say synchronize, if I click on the synchronize mirror um, synchronize mirror button, see what happens. Now both sides have the same file. So the file on the target is overwritten. So this is the difference. This is the difference between the two-way and a mirror. Um, so I think you can also go ahead and investigate, learn a little bit more about the, the update and the custom um, settings. I'm not going to go into them because it's going to be a little bit longer than what I what I would like it to be but this much is pretty simple pretty easy to do pretty simple for everyone to follow and this help helps you make back backups um, for yourself on your external hard drives that you might buy and um, have a copy of it on, on, on the external hard drive so you won't lose your pictures or your your data or, or whatever you have so you can very easily pick folders on the on, on the two sides and then synchronize the stuff as I showed you bear in mind that the right column always would follow whatever is in the left column even if I change something here let's say I create something here then I compare them there is something inside, something added inside the target folder that does not exist in the source folder. And because the target folder is supposed to be a complete mirror of the folder um, uh, in, on, on the left side, what program is going to do, program is going to delete the right side um, file. Look at this. Look at this one when I click on synchronize. Look at this. What, look what happens.
it is gone. You see? If I remove this one, look what happens. I compare, and it says, oh, there is something in the source that is not in the target. Say so synchronize, puts it back in there. So whatever I do in the target folder, it would be overwritten by whatever there is in the source folder. That is a full backup thing. That is different from two-way synchronization. So I, I think this is enough for most of most of my friends and family members who would like to know how to use this little program. And it can save you from a lot of grief once um, once you learn how to use it. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Eric Bright. I wish you a very good synchronization and back.